I have a brand in the company that they have done about those engaged companies. This is kind of a brand and device. Let's get things started. All right, first and foremost, equity is a strong valuation. The entire trend in terms of the low setup in terms of Bitcoin itself. But bear in mind that it was slightly ahead of the counter trend kind of a move in terms of the daily chart perspective. So I entered only one setup instead of one, two, three, three, four, the quantity of the chain itself. So that's something to bear in mind. And above and beyond that, looking across the point of some market structure of it itself, we still get some sort of like an indigenous kind of consolidation pattern for SP 500 and Nasdaq. So over there, we still see some sort of consolidation over here, or at least a breakout, and then a big pullback over here itself. So unlike a Bitcoin itself, which is really rich below the 50 and 20 cent per million average itself, uh, for the SP 500 and Nasdaq, we still need to be tested to see such forms of time being itself. So let's see how it goes. If it does find support over here and bounce up strongly, he will hit it strongly. If it actually bounce out weekly itself, it's much more likely that we have a big bounce and the further drop again. So we do have the only main thing that we do want in order for bullish momentum to stay is that we have to bounce up very strongly from this point on the same that sense. All right, and then we'll move in terms for the China equity market itself, we're still leaning towards a little bit more bearish momentum, more sentiment in that sense, simply because we are not finding support at this 50 simple week average, and we are cross crossing it for the third, fourth day in a row. So, in this kind of a price action wise, I would disregard this 50 simple moving average as a key dynamic example. But bear in mind that this is still a key uh, support zone previously, as well as potentially to the resistance zone. But for a supportive zone to be more supportive, we definitely do not want it to be bounced multiple times within a short period of time, like what we're happening over here. So, definitely, there is some sort of bearish sentiment or opinion in that sense. Similarly, in terms for TK right as well, we are also leaning towards a little bit of a bearish sentiment. We are crisscrossing it a little bit more, and we are not convincingly breaking above at least and maintaining above the 20 exponential moving average on the daily chart, which is definitely not what we want to see if this was a confirmed as a long term model itself. So, we could without a doubt still have a double bottom cover formation perspective. So, bear that in mind, and let's see how things go when price do reach to that level itself. And then finally, for Bitcoin itself, it definitely do leads towards total bearish momentum, especially once we have closed over here with the red bearish candlestick on the daily chart, crossing below the 50 simple moving average and the 20 exponential, 50 simple moving average and 20 exponential moving average on the daily chart itself. In addition to that, our MACD looks to be crossing over itself to the negative territory, which similarly is not a good sign. Like what we have done over here, we crossed bearishly and then we have a much more stronger downside to it. So what we do want to see support is certainly the last line of defense will be over here at 20.1 key region itself. If we do actually hit the level and do not find strong support over there, then I do lean towards further bearish momentum. Otherwise, we could still have a very last kind of a hope for us to bounce up from there itself. All right, but just a quick sentiment I'd like to tip up in terms of the gold and also about oil gold. Let's just take a quick look. So gold. So all itself that is supportive level itself. It does break actually below itself. It'll be very interesting to see. But yeah, I'm definitely not a macro economist kind of person. So let's see how things go. But just interesting to see the goal. I mean, you see that oil is now maintaining strongly below the hundred dollar uh, psychological level itself. But yeah, otherwise that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop on your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.